Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So I thought I would sit down. It's a lovely sunny day still. It's still sunny in Dublin. I think this is probably the hottest summer we've had since the 70s, I think they're saying. So this is a pretty big deal for us that we're having consecutive sunny days. We're not used to it. I'm sweating my balls off, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Don't talk about it too much because they'll hear us and the rain will come. Anyway, I thought I would sit down. This is kind of a typical day for me that I um, I don't have to be out the door straight away. So I have a bit of time to kind of do my everyday makeup. But I'm not going to kind of go too crazy because it's just like every day. I have a couple of bits and pieces to do. So I thought I would sit down and kind of bring you through my summer makeup. Um, generally, the base and stuff are the same. I might kind of change up the eyes depending on how I'm feeling on that particular day. But I'm just fresh, fresh, freshly, freshly washed. Just pop, pop my hair up in a bun. Skincare is on. My skin is having a bit of a conniption at the minute, um, as you can probably see. I think it might have something to do with, I got this pierced a couple of weeks ago and it takes a long time to heal. And I feel that like my ear is quite dry, so I feel like it's kind of affecting that side of my face because that side isn't too bad. But I'll persevere and see what happens. And obviously if I have to take it out, I will. So I do have like a situation to try and cover up. So I'll go a little bit heavier than I would generally but other than that everything is pretty much the same as I would do on a normal daily basis so anyway I'll shut up and get into the makeup so if you want to see my everyday summer makeup look just keep watching so as always I'm keeping this as authentic as possible I'm in my pajamas Um, the only difference is I would be standing here doing my makeup for some reason I prefer to stand rather than sit obviously that doesn't kind of translate very well from a camera point of view because I'd be standing at a wall so other than that this is pretty much what I'll do and I've kind of, I haven't really taken anything out abnormally. Everything is just as it is and I'm kind of just going to dive in so I can kind of cut around that. So first off, as I said, I have my skincare on, have SPF on. The first thing I do, I'm a bit extra and I do use two primers. Completely unnecessary but it just makes me feel better because I do have oilier skin. So this is the Professional Matte Rescue. This actually feels like um, skincare. It reminds me of the Fenty primer that I was using, like it's kind of liquidy. And um, that's why I like it, but I just feel it kind of gives me an extra layer of oily protection. So I whack a bit of that on. And then the second primer depends on the day. Um, I will use the Urban Decay Optical Illusion um, Complexion Primer. That's such a long-winded name. This is like a hardcore putty kind of primer. And my skin kind of needs that at the minute because it hates me. So normally I wouldn't kind of put this on my cheeks, but how they're looking at the minute. I will oblige them. This, I have a full review of this over on beatynook.ie, but it does kind of um, cast a shadow, a lighter shadow on your skin. So if you're lighter than me, that is definitely something to be wary of, because it could make you kind of look grey. I've left primer sit for a minute, and now I'm going to go in with foundation, and again I use two. I have them, so I use them. You don't need to use two uh, foundations. So my kind of go-to everyday foundation is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude. It looks like this. You can buy a pump, but I refuse to because it's already expensive enough. And you have to give it a good shake. It's quite liquidly, 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 liquidy. So I splodge a bit of this on. This has SPF 30 in it as well, which is handy in this heat. But this wouldn't kind of last really long on my skin. So I'll whack a bit of that on. And then at the minute I've been mixing it in with the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. Just because, as I said, I need a bit of coverage. A bit of extra coverage on these bad boys. And I do put that in like my most porous area, which is around my nose too. I look beautiful, I know. Day today I use a buffing brush. This is from Sigma. If you've watched other videos, you'll see me use this. I have it years and years and years. I just blend that in. I always make sure to kind of bring it down my neck as well. It looks like I'm like ripping the face off myself, but I promise I'm not. And I go a bit harder on my nose because the pores are living large there. So this kind of buffs the makeup into them. Buffing is done. 
Next, I go on to my eyebrows. So I've been using the Kat Von D Signature Brow Precision Pencil in medium brown. I really like the spoolie on this. Um, it's nice and soft. And my brows are the thing that probably take me the longest. I might do an updated brow routine because I do get questions because obviously you can see them before and then if I post pictures with them filled in people often ask me how I do them. I pretty much do them the same way as I've been doing for years. I've just gotten better at it. So I pencil them in like three quarters of the way and kind of just draw the defining line underneath. Then I get a spoolie, comb them through, grab a brow powder. This one is on its way out. I have used it so much this is like four quid from freedom makeup i will have to root out another duo i just like this one because there's a the dark and the light shades kind of just work really well for me it's in soft brown yeah i've been using this for a long time and i just go over the pencil with this and if you do feck up like i did there don't worry because i'm just going to clean it up with concealer your hand slips sometimes when you're doing makeup, it's okay. And then I use the lighter shade and flick up the front. And then I conceal under them and clean everything up. This is just my Rimmel concealer that I've been using and it's discontinued so I don't like talking about it. And this is a Billion Dollar Brows concealer brush. So I use that to clean up my mistakes. And it just look, makes everything look a bit neater as well. And then while I have the more heavy duty concealer out, I'm going to take some of my finger and whack it on my lovely new face additions too. I always use a bit of Gimme Brow. This is a number three. I do take off the excess. And kind of the Katie, the lovely um, like main brow gal in Benefit, told me to kind of go back and forth with it from a texture point of view. So I do that and it does kind of help make your real brows look a bit more prominent then I go on to eyeshadow primer if I have like a zit situation I tend to leave the concealer on it and let it like sink in a little bit so I'll go on to uh, eyeshadow primer this is the Zoeva one I definitely need eyeshadow primer and then my most reach for palette of the minute over the past few weeks I've been reaching loads for the uh, Too Faced chocolate gold palette I mentioned this in my favorites in my last video it's just a really great kind of grab and go eyeshadow palette so I use the cream color all over my lids I do this every day just to set everything I love this big giant eyeshadow brush from blank canvas so this is an authentic summer everyday makeup so this is generally what I do I take like a taupey shade like this one this is so bougie from the chocolate gold palette on a fluffy brush apply that in my crease really messily but just to kind of add a little bit of definition like if I'm going to be outside I'm probably going to have sunglasses on anyway so this is just in case I take them off I think that just makes me look a bit more put together and then I'll go over my eyelid with something like Classy and Sassy is generally the one I use. It's like a pinky taupe shade and I take some on my finger and just rub that over my lid. I don't pack it on. I'm literally just putting a really light layer of it on just to kind of add something to my lid. I'm that kind of person who feels a bit funny without a little bit of eyeshadow on. And then I go back it up with this side of my fluffy brush a little bit more of the Topi Cree shade and just kind of blend both of them colours in together. And then I put a cream colour in my waterline just because it makes me look more awake, makes my eye look less red. I'm going to blend in this concealer. And then I'm going to conceal under my eyes and I've been using the last couple of days the Instant Age Rewind which I love from Maybelline but this comes in a few more different shades now. So I have the shade 00 Ivory which is nice and light for me. Initially light was the lightest shade and it's not very light. So this is awesome. So I'm going to get a bit of that on. 
and I'm just using my foundation brush because it's here. To set under my eyes, I use the Cafon D Locke Loose Powder and Petal. It's kind of a pinky powder. And then I set my face as well. This is the Kryolan Translucent Powder. This stuff goes everywhere, but I like it. It's literally all over my drawer now. And I make sure to bring that into my new eyebrows too, because I need to set them. And then I just take some of the taupey shades. Again, I feel comfortable with a little something under my eyes. So I'm just taking a really small amount of that under my eyes. Oh, don't put the brush in your eye. Just makes me feel better, so we do it. Okay, time for my favorite part, mascara. If I don't have a lash lift, I will always curl my eyelashes. I really need to get a lash lift. Eyeliner isn't something that's super necessary for me, so I skip it generally on like an everyday basis. And then I go in with a waterproof mascara. This is the L'Oreal Paradise one. And I've been really enjoying it. It kind of gives you a lot of lash very quickly, which is good in the mornings if you're in a hurry. Can you see the difference? Of course you can. I like bottom lash mascara, so I don't skip it. I pretty much use it every day. So this is MAC Extended Play. I always use this in my bottom eyelashes. Just a little bit. Bottom mascara is done. I'm gonna go on to a bit of bronzer. This is the Clarins. Um, it's just the bronzing compact. I really like this. It's good for fairer skin. So I just kind of swirl into all of them and use that to warm everything up slightly. I don't go too crazy with bronzer. Everyday Blush is Spring Chain from MAC, just a good peachy colour. If you're red tones like me, you probably don't want to add more pink to your skin, so this is a good alternative. And then a bit of highlighter, because I like highlighter. So I've been using the Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo and Subtle Sunrise. I love this stuff, particularly this shade. I use more than anything. So work a bit of that on my pretend cheekbones. And I'm finding that all because like as I was giving out about the texture on this side, but I don't feel like that this kind of sits on that texture too much so I can get away with highlighting a little bit. And then I do um, highlight my inner tear duct as well. So I use a cream highlighter for So this is the Isadora Strobe and Highlighting Stick in 01 Champagne Glow. So I use a little bit of this on my finger and pop that in my inner tear duct. And then I pop the powder highlighter over top. It just is, intensifies it a bit and makes it last a bit longer. Then for lips, I've been going quite neutral. This is the Flormar number 201 waterproof lip liner. I do have lip balm on. And then over top, Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Last step, of course, is to set it. Oh, and set my brows as well. This is the Isadora, what was this called? Brow Shaping Gel, it's just a clear gel. Don't forget to set the spidery brows. I do notice if I don't do this because I have quite a uh, prickly eyebrows. And now we're done. Um, I am ready. I feel like everyone says on the internet that they're going to run errands. So that's what I'm going to do as well. Pretty as I am. It just sounds nobbier when you call them errands. But uh, yeah, this is me ready to go. I'm all sun creamed up and it's safe to go out in the sun now. This hair won't last very long down. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Take care. Bye.